We know that several scrapbookers out there have their own scrapbooking space, or at least a part of a space. Sometimes it's fun to add a personalized touch to that area. Now just in case you don't have your own personalized space, um, stay tuned because there are some other ways to use these wonderful words. Okay, Paulette, tell me, what are these wonderful words? <laughs> <laughs> nice of you to ask. Well, they're actually five inch tall letters. They're out of chipboard and out of clear material. Cool. And yeah, so let's see what you can do with them. Uh, Lene has created this word from the, this is the chipboard letters. Oh, very fun. And as I get my hand in here, you can see they really are large. And um, let's focus on each one. Obviously, she's decided to do the word home. Mm -hmm. And let's I take just, a look at that H yeah, to start with. Yeah, let's do that. So she's treated each one separately. However, she used, I think this is the Bohemian papers on all of them. Mm -hmm. So she's just covered the front with the paper. And then she has added some trim. So some bows going across the oh, H. Oh, I love the three brads here. And now tell me, what is this little Gehrig, her last name, yes. is inside a little... Um, a little label holder. Right. And that's out of clear material. So we have some uh -huh. giant words. And then we've got some very small embellishments oh, out of the clear. Cool. I just want to point out, if you'll look, that this is kind of a green color. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll talk about how to get there. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Let me bring in the O so you can see the second letter of her word. Love having the flower. And then again, one of those little um, clear, oh, pieces. clear pieces. I'm seeing that I need pink. more than one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some butterflies coming up around the Isn't side. Isn't that nice? Now, she's chosen to attach a couple of her butterflies with mini brads, and one is just zotted in place. So oh, you can do both. Okay. Now you notice that these are pink and green. Aha, but I said clear. Hmm, how did we get there? <laughs> you got to stay with us to okay. find We're going to do alcohol links. We won't keep you in suspense, but we'll demonstrate that. How fun is this M? Great big M. Ooh, and I love this little embellishment on here. The silk flower, yes. that clock, and then the three flowers on here. Very sweet. Isn't that nice? The uh, Now, nothing has been done with this clear clock, although you could. Mm -hmm. And maybe we want to get in tight on that, because I'm not sure that you can see it's a clock from that distance. Now, can you see? Oh, that's really pretty. <laughs> and these flowers are going along that other leg of the M. And again, different colors attached with really brads. Really like Using that. the crocodile to attach those. Oh, okay. Made it okay, easier. great idea. Here's our E. And again, we've got a clock portion on here. It's just cut half. in half. Yes, just so, yes, half. you can cut those in half. Love having the ribbons on here. A piece of lace going behind Don't the, you like the that? center section. And then up here at the top of the E, we've got three brads. And then ah, hmm, another heart. one of our sweet little hmm. hearts. Let's so see how to do clear those. shapes. Okay, Paulette, let's talk about how we can get these cool, clear plastic shapes into colored plastic okay. shapes. How are you going to do I'm that? I'm going to do that with alcohol inks. Okay. And um, I'm putting my, play, my letter right onto this scrap piece of paper mm -hmm. here. And I've got a cosmetic wedge. This is what I'm going to use to apply the okay. alcohol inks. And you've got my alcohol inks over there. I do. So I've got several colors. One, which, which color do you think I should use? Oh. Maybe the pesto? Okay, how about pesto? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll take the lid, two. <laughs> evidently. And I'm just going to take a few drops of this and just squeeze it onto my oh. cosmetic wedge. This, okay. this doesn't require anything, you know, any, any real heavy duty tools here. I'm just dabbing this on. And you can okay. see the modeled effect that I'm getting. Yes. I'll just continue along here. And so if you wanted to deepen the color, you would yeah. add more? And actually, why don't you hand me another color? Okay. We'll just Here's see what happens. Espresso. Okay. Espresso. Get my caffeine and my pesto here. Yeah, yeah. Hungry already. <laughs> so I'm just dabbing this on top over. And you know what? So it kind of starts as dots. Exactly. And we've done um, previous webisode segments on alcohol yes. inks. And so you can, of course, use that search engine on our site to find those. But we've also talked about doing things like kind of twisting mm -hmm. the applicator a little bit. And I'm just going to move this over so that you can see that very What's going faint. On there? Very subtle effect, but again, it's no longer. Would you clear. do just one little area in? Um, see, I've got raisin left. Okay. Um, because I'm just thinking about those hearts and butterflies we saw oh, that sure. were a different color. Let we me get another. another. <laughs> <laughs> You've got another co cosmetic sponge. Right. So I'll just dab on again a few of those, and I'd okay. like to get a, maybe a fainter look. So let me just sort of. 
So now you get the hint Tap of how on. kind of swipe it it's on. It's kind of nice to have those three different mm -hmm. colors in one. Yeah, yeah, package. it definitely is. And so I've got you know a little bit of a Ooh, subtle pretty. pinky okay. effect. Okay. Very quick, very easy to do, and it's it's dry. Oh my word! So, is it really yeah, okay? It is ready to use. Now here's a dream out of the clear. This is beautiful. That I love this. And so this has all been alcohol inked yes. using that same set that we just used mm -hmm. with the pesto and the raisin and the espresso. Yes. Beautiful mm. color combination. And the other thing that's going on is look at the wings on the A. Yeah. Let's get into close to Let's that. Let's look at this more closely. Love having those in that raisin color that fun? against the coordinating brown and green. I mm -hmm. think that looks really pretty. Again, we've got a couple of brads up here right. just to accent. So it doesn't really take a whole lot. Once you've done the alcohol inking, you don't need to add much more. And that's true of the chipboard as well as the clear. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take much. And it's fun to be able to put um, different elements with them because the the clear is of course a smooth surface and it's nice to get a little bit of texture right so, exactly and we did add this is more of the bohemian paper you just see a little snippet Ooh, of it up there love it with the flower on right. there too here's another of the um, labels saying holding the word uh, seek and some ribbons the D I'm gonna scoot back over here so again more of that stripe paper um, uh, flower and I'm sorry we started with the A because we never got <laughs> to see the M. Now oh, let's these, keep moving this yeah, along. We will. <laughs> Love it with a little punched butterfly piece. Isn't that That's cute? That's really sweet. And then some ribbon tied around right. here. And these are just glued right on and attached with my Yes. Hands. Now, the other thing, we talked about putting these words. I mean, that's a thing in home decor is you've seen the words out of right. wood or out of, you know, uh, against a wall. Mm -hmm. And um, so you can do that. You can also uh, do some other things. Yes, you've you got can. an idea. I do. And I'm going to just take this. Um, oh, let me take this M. Okay. Thank you for handing that to me. <laughs> I've got a painted Sarah's Surface album, and this is one of the 8x8 albums. Mm -hmm. um, it's already been painted, and what if I just pop on Isn't that this fun. great big decorated monogram? That's so a super size. I can use it to decorate my room or my scrapbooking space if it's a room or a corner of a room. You know, I can see it above the headboard of a child's room with Absolutely. their name on it. Yes. It would be very fun, but you can do it large or small, use the whole word or just a letter. Right. Really versatile. I great love idea. these. <laughs> 